you made the decision not to engage in the politics of the 2024 campaign. If it's okay, let me read what you wrote on the topic. Quote, I love my father very much. This time around, I'm choosing to prioritize my young children and the private life we're creating as a family. I do not plan to be involved in politics. While I will always love and support my father going forward, I will do so outside the political arena. I'm grateful to have had the honor of serving the American people, and I will always be proud of many of our administration's accomplishments. So can you explain your thinking, your philosophy behind that decision? I think first and foremost, it was a decision rooted in me being a parent, um, really thinking about what they need from me now. You know, politics is is a rough, rough business. And I think it's one that you also can't dabble in. I think you have to either be all in or or all out. And I know today the cost they would pay for me being all in. Emotionally, in terms of my absence at such a formative point in their life, and I'm not willing to make them bear that cost. I served for four years and, and feel so privileged to have done it, but as their mom, I think it's, it's, it's really important that I do what's right for them. And, and I think there are a lot of ways you can serve. You know, I think there's, obviously we talked about the enormity, the scale of what can be accomplished in, in government service, but, you know, I think there's something equally valuable about helping within your own community. Um, and I volunteer with the, the kids a lot and we feel really good about that service. It's different, but it's no less meaningful. So I think there are other ways, there are other ways to serve. I also think for, you know, politics is, um, is a, it's a pretty dark world. Like there's a lot of darkness, a lot of negativity, and it's just really at odds with what feels good for me as a human being. And, you know, it is, it, it's a really, it's a really rough business. Um, so, so for me and my family, it, it feels right to not participate. So it wears on your soul. And uh, yeah, there is a bit, at least from an outsider's perspective, a bit of darkness in that part of our world. I wish it didn't have to be this way. Me too. I think part of that darkness is just watching all the legal turmoil that's going on. What's it like for you to see that, uh, your father involved in that, going through that? On a human level, it's my father. And I love him very much, so it's it's painful to experience. But uh, ultimately, I wish it didn't have to be this way. I like it that underneath all of this, I love my father is the thing that uh, you lead with. That's so true. It is It is family. Uh, and I hope uh, amidst all this turmoil, love is the thing that wins. It usually does. <laughs> in the end, yes. In the but end. <laughs> in the short term, there is, like we were talking about, there's a bit of bickering. But at least no, no more duels. <laughs> <laughs> no more duels.